Hey everyone, welcome to another video. I thought I would show you what I got in Cyber Weekend sales and then we're gonna go out in like a vlog. So stick around if you enjoy the vlogs and not everything in this video is shopping. So if you're kind of over shopping and you want more lifestyle and you definitely want Christmas, then keep watching because I have loads of that. But I was, I have got perfume, jewelry, clothing, other cool things that I have bought in these sales. Now, I personally feel like this year, the Cyber Weekend sales have been better than ever. And I don't know if it's because there's like a downturn in the economy, but I just noticed there were discounts coming out from brands, discounts that I've never seen before on that level from some of these brands. And some of these brands, I've never even seen them do a discount before, even Cyber Weekend. So the first few things I got First of all, this this is a cashmere hoodie, which I've been really enjoying wearing underneath a blazer. It's incredibly warm. It's pretty thick, but it's not so it's not so thick that I couldn't get the blazer on over the top, which is one good thing about it. But this is one of my favourite things that I got. It's slightly cropped off, which I really like because then I can wear my high high waisted trousers with it. Just really like it. The other thing that I got from the same place is a turtleneck sort of like semi turtleneck jumper here and on the back of it it's got like a line two lines that go down the back of it and i've been really enjoying this as well just i'm really into light grays um for kind of winter autumn winter and yeah i really liked this and then the other jumper i got is a v-neck and it's thinner this is thinner but they're all cashmere and it's got a little collar on it. And I thought this was really cute. I really liked it. So I'll link to these below. I will put my coupon code below. But I think at the moment, it either gets you 15 or 20% off, maybe even 25. So I'll put the details of that below if you wanna go and check that out. But really nice, genuinely good quality uh, cashmere. The next thing, let's do a jewelry item. I found these from Jacquemus and these are something that I have been after for a long time but I couldn't find them. Then I found them and not only did I find them and there was one pair left but they had 40% off. So they come in this little dust bag and I don't know what you're going to think of these, they're potentially an acquired taste. But they are these. They are croissant earrings. Is it going to focus? No it's not. But look, this is the size of them. They're quite large. They're hollowed out though. They're like echoey when you tap on them. They're hollowed out so they're not heavy. And I just love how these look. When you've got your hair tied up and you've got like a blazer on, like an oversized blazer, I love the way these look. They're so cool. Um, really good for a night out. And yeah, I just really like those. Then I got something which is like kind of boring but very essential contact lenses so i got these for 30 percent off normally where i get my lenses from they don't do discounts like that normally the maximum and they only do it a few times times a year is like 15 percent off but i always buy 90 days worth and it's expensive because you pay per box basically so i got those for a really good discount the other thing i've got some more clothes but i'm going to do some perfume these were now, they were originally £80, but I got them for £55.30, and it's a set of, it's these Kayali perfumes, you know, the Huda Beauty, although it's her sister that created the line, and I've got all of my favourite ones in here. So I've got Vanilla Eden, which is Juicy Apple, my favourite perfume. This is the one that I use most frequently. Then there is Deja Vu and Invite Only. And if you like oud, kind of more heavy perfumes, perfumes that really last, that you can smell throughout the day, I would really recommend these. The other great thing, the other reason why I wanted to get them, they're small enough you can put them in your handbag and like touch up your perfume throughout the day. So I was really pleased to get those and just a, a good discount, a really good discount. Sparkle, God, this looks so good on there. This is from Nadine Muabi, I think is the name of the brand. I think I'll put the details of it below. But I have been eyeing up two of her dresses for six months with 
it in mind that I really want to wear one to New Year's Eve this year. And you know, the dresses actually, I will say, if you're into this kind of thing, definitely go, sorry, I'm trying to hook the strap back on. Definitely go and check out the website because the dresses are not super expensive. And I can now say the quality is really good. So this is the first dress and it's like a pencil dress that um, goes down to sort of just below the knee. Really, really sparkly gold sequins. I have also ordered another one. So this had 35% off it, this one. The other one also had 35% off and um, because originally it had 25% off, but then on Cyber Monday, they did an extra 10%. So we're using a coupon code, so the discount was really good. That hasn't arrived yet. And so, but th this is a picture of what it looks like. I think it looks magnificent. I'm just gonna try the two of them and decide whether I keep them both or whether I send one back. I'm really not sure just yet, but this, um, this I'm really excited about. This I absolutely love really really nice and then finally i went on to the matches website i love matches you can get a really good selection on there i really love brands like farfetch matches louisa via roma my teresa netaporte those kinds of websites give you a really good range of different brands and there are different price points on there and you can get things for you know like mid I would say price points where you would buy let's say a jumper but it's like 200 pounds but it's really going to last you um but I found this one I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep it actually this and the reason why I'm not going to keep it is because I actually prefer my other one it's a finer knit I think and the neckline's basically the same only this one's got a zip on it you see the neckline um, and the materials different and I feel like I feel like they're both quite similar but I just prefer my lily silk one I prefer the finer knit on it so that's the first thing this um, jumper kind of quite oversized jumper and then I don't know whether these are going to fit because all of this has just turned up in the post but I thought I would try these they are a pair of trousers don't know how I feel about them until I try them on. I'll try them on in this video, but I don't know how I'm gonna feel. But they're kind of crocodile. Um, and on the website, they had them with a re like an oversized gray jumper tucked in. That's why I got that. But this I ordered before my Lily Silk one arrived. I think if this one had arrived first, I probably wouldn't have bought the other one, but um, I'm just gonna try them both on and see. So that's everything, I think that I got in the Cyber Weekend sale. As I said earlier, I do feel as though this year the sales have been better. Um, sometimes I know in the media they've kind of called out some places for marking up the RRP and then discounting that marked up RRP. So you feel like you're getting a good deal when actually you're just paying the original RRP. But I don't feel like I've seen that that much this year. I feel as though the discounts have been really, really good. So yeah, just some things that I got. But anyway, let's head out. Hey everyone, welcome to the start of another vlog. I'm with David today and we are in a taxi on our way to the Strand for the Gucci exhibition. And my sales associate in Gucci has invited me to this. I'm gonna meet her there. Hopefully we're gonna make it on time because the traffic today was a little bit sticky. Um, but she said that we can film. And then after that, we'll probably go out for some lunch and like walk around the shops. But we actually wanna to go to Covent Garden area because all the Christmas lights are out. And I'd love to be able to show you those and just show you the shops around there because Covent Garden's a really nice area to go to. And it's a bit different to Knightsbridge. So if you're planning a trip over here, you might want to see what Covent Garden is like. Hey everyone, I'm here with Amani and we are at the Gucci exhibition. You know I told you that we were going to come here and Amani, you've got to check her out, Harrods. Ground floor. 
ground floor. You've got to go and check her out. She can get you. I don't want to promise too much, but she can get you pretty much anything. Like she got me this this blazer. You know the one I told you about. I'm going to take this off in a minute and show you the blazer. But we're about to have a coffee. Then we're going to go and walk around. And apparently this exhibition is like incredible. So before we get going, I'm just having a cappuccino. Yes. Solid yeah. chocolate. It's, uh, it's because uh, we use we don't use exactly the bar. We use the same chocolate, but in bottles instead. Oh. Yeah, because it's easier to melt it for the hot chocolate. So this, but this everyone, this is when you walk in and you can have like a coffee or a tea or or whatever you want. And there's like a little kitchen here. So the hotel's opera-loving owner turns the lift into a theater. He paints it in shiny red lacquer. So we're just walking around, having a look around, and um, so far I'm learning like quite a lot about the history of the brand, and it takes you through the ages, so there's like these little signs on the wall where it tells you what's going on and in what era and in what year. Um, it's really, really fascinating so far, particularly if you're into like fashion history. Um, it's really good. This is incredible, you guys. These are actual statues. These aren't holograms. I mean, there's holograms pro uh, projected on them. These have come sh from Shanghai as well. And we were just saying, how do you reckon they got them over from Shanghai? Because it's not looking it on here, but this is huge, absolutely huge statue. is the Gucci exhibition done. We're now gonna to walk to Leicester Square because I think there's a Christmas market there or something, something to that degree. And also I really wanna go and get some lunch because I'm starving. It's like about two o'clock now and I didn't have breakfast. So we're gonna go and find that. So we've just stopped off for some lunch and we've come to Gino De Campo's restaurant, which is called Luciano and there is some gorgeous food on the menu like all italian pizzas pastas 
everything I said I was on a diet from since going to Italy, I'm now about to eat and I don't even care. Let's go. Okay, so we've just sat down. It's actually very nice in here. Look, and I'll show you the menu. We, we already saw it outside, but I'll show you, because uh, there was glass over the front, so I don't think you really saw it, but we've got... Aperol spritz. It's a bit early for that, David. Oh, he's looking how much it is, 15. <laughs> um, uh, I was thinking of like some pasta or something, actually. Like the bolognese looks good. Or the linguine. We ordered some bread to start and we've got some, I think that's pesto there. And then uh, David's got a piece of bread that he's got started on. I think I might have a breadstick. It's got olive oil. It's got olive oil. I like a breadstick. Yeah, let's go for this. Our food is here. David got the bolognese and I got the spaghetti with the prawns. They're actually really big portions. But to be honest, I'm not complaining because I'm starving and the food looks so good. So I'm going to go and eat. I'm going to go now and eat this because I need to. So we've just finished our late lunch. And I thought I'd bring you to Covent Garden to show you the decorations because the Christmas stuff here always is very good. So downstairs there's like a cafe and then up here, I think the cafe is continued, but there's shops all along here. And there's a market just behind me. that has got like a market stall on it there. And then over here, this looks like a tobacco shop, it sells pipes and things like that. Look at those in the window real mix of like old stuff around here like kind of like flea market i would say as well covent garden at christmas really is a magical place in london and whether you're visiting planning a visit or whether you live in london or live in the uk and you want to do something i would really recommend paying a trip to covent garden they've also updated the christmas decorations this year um which is really nice it just kind of makes a nice change there were some fantastic market stalls selling jewellery, vintage pieces, handmade pieces, soaps and everything in between. So it's really worth you uh, paying a trip if you want to get up to something festive. Thank you all so much for watching and hopefully you will come and join me in another video.